The French 75 field gun, so good it fired 16 million shells in one battle alone. Verdun, 1916. The revolutionary model 1897. The French Materiel de 75 mm model 1897 field gun was one of the most important weapons of World War I. It was commonly known as the French 75 or the 75 and Soissons Cannes, French for 75. It was a quick firing mobile artillery piece that could deliver devastating firepower on the enemy. The French 75 was also one of the most innovative artillery pieces of its time, with a number of features that made it a highly effective weapon. The French 75 fired an astonishing 16 million shells at the 1916 Battle of Verdun alone. The development of the French 75 The French 75 was designed by Colonel Joseph Albert Depot, director of the Atelier de Construction de Poteau. APX State Arsenal from 1890 and was commissioned into the French Army in 1898. Depot wanted to create a field gun that was more accurate and powerful than the existing artillery pieces. He also wanted to create a gun that was easy to use and maintain. The French 75 incorporated a number of innovative features such as a hydro pneumatic recoil system that kept the gun stable during firing and a fast action screw breech and unitary shell. These features allowed the crew to reload and fire the gun quickly without having to re-aim. The 75mm gun thus had a high rate of fire and a well-trained crew were capable of firing about 15 rounds per minute compared to previous guns which were limited to about 2 shells per minute. The French 75 in World War I the 75mm gun was used extensively by the French army during World War I. The gun was particularly effective in the early years of the war when trench warfare was in its infancy. The French 75's high rate of fire and accuracy allowed it to suppress enemy fire and destroy troops advancing in the open through the use of time-fused shrapnel shells. After 1915 and the onset of trench warfare, it was used to deliver impact detonated high explosive shells to break enemy trench lines. By 1918 the French 75s had become the main agents of delivery for poisonous gas shells. The French 75 also proved to be effective in the anti-aircraft role. The gun could be used to fire high explosive shells at enemy aircraft. The 75mm was also used in a number of other roles including as a direct fire weapon against enemy infantry and fortifications. Interestingly, the gun was also utilised as the main armament of the saint chamond tank in 1918. The legacy of the French 75 The French 75 was a highly effective weapon that played a major role in World War I and was also used by the US Army in the war. The gun's innovative features made it a valuable asset and it helped to shape the course of the conflict. It went on to see widespread use in the interwar period and during World War II. The French 75 is considered to be one of the most important artillery pieces of all time. Outro The French 75mm field gun was a truly revolutionary weapon. It was the first gun to include a hydro-pneumatic recoil mechanism and it had a high rate of fire and accuracy that made it a devastating weapon on the battlefield. The French 75 thus played a major role in World War I and its legacy continues to this day.